committed to working with this Vera main cell. Was it possible? Was, is it possible to do this in a parking lot? I could have done it in the driveway or in the garage, but I wanted to know: Can I pull this off in a parking lot? I set out to do this, and I watched probably uh, five or six videos on removing the rear seal for my vehicle type. One gentleman said, doing this on your back will take a week. He was so close. <laughs> I gathered uh, every chore I could think of to do this job, and I still didn't have them all. I ran back and forth so much trying to find a tool for the right size to fit. It wasn't so much the tool. Some of the areas were so tight, you couldn't even get your hand in there, nevertheless the tool. So I had to hack some stuff. And I listened to some of the problem, problems that they were having. Getting to that top bolt on top of the bell housing was a problem. And there was another hidden bolt to the left of that one. Both of them had brackets on them. You had to take the top bolt off, remove the brackets, and there was a bigger bolt behind those brackets. My main problem was getting the exhaust off. I took off the right side. The bolts came right off. I tried the left side. They wouldn't move. And I thought, okay, <clears throat> The only way to get these off to use some propane or take a grinder and just grind them off and replace them. I was kind of skeptical with the propane around these fumes. Or I just didn't feel comfortable using it. was too big, so I went and bought a smaller grinder. It worked on two of the bolts. There was one bolt that um, the room was not there without hitting or cutting something else. Now what? I thought, well, to access some of these bolts that you can't see, I made an access, <laughs> an access hole. I removed my center council and made me some access holes in the body of my truck in two places. Or Three places. On the exhaust, the exhaust, um, I think the bracket is about center ways back. I could not get to this boat because it was facing upward. There was no room. So I drilled a hole above it to access that boat to get it off. My exhaust manifold bolts, or connecting the exhaust manifold to the exhaust on the left side, I had to grind them off. Two of them came off, one did not. So I ended up taking the whole manifold out with the exhaust and just pulled it under and the whole piece came out. That's how I got that out. Then I had to hack it. I had to fix it. Um, I used propane, the bolts didn't move. I took my grinder, grinded the bolts off flat, and began to drill through this iron. It was hard to do. Burnt up some bits. I got the job done, but it was a big mess. So I had to hack this back together with some washers, some bolts, some lock washers to get it back together. Now. If I have to go and get me another manifold, because this looks really bad after doing all that drilling, there be, um, I looked on eBay, they yeah, about 40 bucks up to 70 bucks to replace the right side or the left side manifold. However, I kept moving. Watching those videos and preparing for problems ahead of time 
Help me to get past this much. The bell housing bolt, both at the top. The exhaust bolt, I couldn't get to it. And getting my exhaust off. After doing all of this, doing all of this, I realized that the um, right side manifold and exhaust, I didn't have to fool with that. Don't move with that. On, on this vehicle, you didn't even have to move that. 